Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh. In the previous videos, we have talked about get record, create record, and update record elements in the Salesforce tools. And we have also talked about we are going to next we are going to work with the delete records. So that is what we will see here in this video. As we are in the screen flow for now, so we will also take the example, whatever the example we will be developing will be a part of our screen flow where user intervention will be required. So before we get started, please do like, share, subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any update from our channel. Now as you have completed multiple videos and you already know how to create a flow, which flow you need to select is a screen flow. Go ahead and click on next and then whatever the layout you want. So here what scenario we are going to have or we are going to implement is we will have an screen over here, okay? And that screen will say, uh, let's quickly talk here in the pictorial format. So we will have one screen over here, okay? This is going to have two uh, check boxes, uh, actually radio buttons. It will say contacts and it will say opportunity. Now here, there will be a decision element. If you select contact, then what it will do is, it will do, do the so uh, SOQL on the contact where account ID is null. So that means fetch all the contact records where account ID is null and then delete those contact records. Similarly, if you select opportunity, then do the same thing. Get all the opportunity records where account ID is null. And this is going to be for our opportunity. And then once we have got all those records, then we are going to delete. So that is what we are going to do. Our main key thing is going to be our screen, which we are going to develop, which will be having two check, uh, not check boxes, it is going to be have the radio and based on whatever you have selected with the help of a decision element, we are going to delete either opportunity or contact records. So as you have discussed or you have seen the scenario, what we will do is, the quick thing is we have to put an screen because that is what we have uh, to find out where to delete account, sorry, where to delete opportunity or contact. Uh, give the label whatever you want. And then for this input, what you will have is you will have a radio button. Uh, instead of radio button, let's quickly say that we will have checkbox group. Or yeah, let's say it is a radio button, okay? And then here we will say that uh, whatever we can say that select of records to delete. It is going to be a record, okay? Now user will not be able to select multiples, but we will have the cho choice here, right? So what we have to do is we'll add here on the choice. We'll say that add choice, and then now we have got two choices. We will select new choice resource and we select choice because we need a single choice. Okay, so just select choice and we will say that contact. The API name is contact and here the value is going to be choice label is going to be contact. Okay, contacts and then choice value you can say it is a contact. Similarly, we will have one more which is going to be having the choice type. The API name is opportunity and the value is going to be opportunity. Okay. So the label is opportunities, the value is opportunity. Click on done. Now you can see here you've got two options, contacts and um, sorry, opportunities. You have this screen. Next thing what you have to do is you need to find out which one the user has selected. So you will just click on plus icon and here we need a decision element. We need to figure out either user has selected a contact or opportunities. So we will select here and you can label it like a uh, Check which object has been selected by user. So this is our decision element. Okay, for the now uh, for the outcome we can say that contact selected. And how we will check here is we will find out our screen element. And under that we have got this. Uh, this is our component. Okay, select record to delete. And we will say that this equals to contact. Okay, this is what we have. We can select choice. If the user has selected contact, we need to delete contact. And here we will say that instead of default outcome, we will say that opportunity selected. Or here, instead of opportunity selected, here is let's make this as default. And then let's add one more condition over here. We'll say that opportunity selected. And this time, what we will select is we will select opportunity. So now we have got three routes one is contact selected, other is opportunity selected, and then we have got default. Then click on done. So we have three different routes, right? So if contact is selected, Let's quickly go ahead and do the query for contact. So to do that, you already know how to do. 
you have to figure out a get records and here we will say that get record and here name is going to be contact records which object we wanted to have that object is a type of contact filter there will be one filter we will say that account id equals to null and click on done this is for your uh, contact once you have got the contacts you have to delete those contacts to delete that again click on plus icon and then find delete records and here what you have to do is you you just label it as delete contact records and select use the specific ids okay and then you need to select whatever you have got contacts from get records and then done it so this is related to contact similarly we have to do for opportunity first we will get the opportunity records and then we will delete those so this is the query for our get opportunity records where the filter is account id is null so that we delete only those opportunities which are not related to any account and then we have to again do the delete record which we have just discussed how to do that so we will select opportunity records and for the default outcome we don't need to do anything because this is a required outcome so we'll get the error now there could be possibilities here on these four of these elements because these, uh, these are dealing with your salesforce data elements so there could be possibilities there is any error so to do that you just need to click here just click on this and then select add fault path this is can this can be for anything okay any data elements that you have you select add fault path and here what you have to do is just add an screen element so that if there is any error we can display the error to the user and what information we will be displaying is under a display text component and there is as we have already talked about in the previous videos the flow dot fault message is something which contains the error which we need and then if you want you can just go ahead and increase the font size or you can just change the color uh, the color of your uh, message because uh, most of the time we display the red color so we you can change that color and then click on done so this is only for the first record okay now we want to have the error handling for all these four so what you have to do is for all these th remaining three just click here okay and then select add fault path for all these three sorry yeah all the remaining that we have got now here you have got a fault path you just need to click here on add and then say collect element connect to element and then connect to this screen because if there is any error we want to show this screen because that screen is already there which is containing every single thing okay we will do the same for all the error components and that's done okay you see our flow that flow is containing like our screen error which is having three connections now let me show you this is having three connections and these are the three connections that we have okay and at the end what we will do is we will add a success screen if there is any uh, like there is no error we will display records deleted successfully and to display the information again we will be using display text you can give the api name which can be success screen or uh, something else and then here it is going to be a text which is saying that record deleted successfully now here if you wanted to know which records has been deleted so you can choose your choice variable over here okay so whatever it has selected in the screen which is say that select uh, records to delete so this is the screen component right you can select okay these records has deleted successfully and then click on done so now your flow is ready if i just give it a room we got every single thing what we needed we will go ahead and say that okay click on save and you can just label the flow whatever you want so i have labeled as like a screen flow which is saying that delete often contacts and opportunities and click on done now before activating we have to test it so we will just go ahead and click on debug so you will see this run, run a screen you are already seeing in multiple videos so here you have an option to select let's say that we don't select we get the error please select a choice right say that we wanted to select contacts click on next now what it will do is it will check here the decision what decision happened and then it will come back here delete the record and then now it is displaying contacts records deleted successfully okay on the right hand side if you see it has shown us every step by step execution first it says that it was there on the choice screen and then you selected contact then it went to the decision okay it says that okay it is contact and then what it says that it executed get records element which says that okay get all orphan contact records it found the records 
there was only one record which, which was deleted and then we got that screen which is saying that this is the screen okay so that is how our flow is working fine if you say that run again you wanted to select opportunities you can test that as once and you say here it says that i failed to find the record and it says that no record in salesforce match your delete criteria okay so that was the error and then we got this so basically our both the scenarios are working where we have got the error or we have got the success and everything is working fine so this was it for this video to show you how to uh, work with the delete record because these were the fair, uh, four main pillars of our uh, record uh, data elements related to salesforce if you wanted to activate this you can just go ahead activate this flow and use it inside your home page and then from there user can delete all those things so this is it for this video thank you for your time and in the coming video we will talk about uh, how to use subflows in the screen flow and before you go ahead please do like share subscribe the channel so that we also uh, get motivated to put the videos